Oh, yes, welcoming Simon back across the CEO of Private Property. We've had a lot of fun looking at neighborhoods. And, and last week, we got a sneak peek at one of the prime neighborhoods in the country, Sands. And today, we move a little closer to home, taking a look at the southern suburbs of Cape Town, the burbs, do we call it? Well, I think Cape Town is a very interesting market, certainly very different to Joburg in some areas, yeah. um, but also some similarities. When approaching the property market here in Cape Town, where do we start? What's the first step, do you think? Well, you know, that's what we set out to answer with this whole neighborhoods project is, uh, you know, where does someone really want to live? What is the type of lifestyle that they want to access? And, and I think what's really beautiful about the Cape, I mean, no matter where you are in the country, people buy into the beauty of the scenery down in the Cape. Emotional decisions. Yeah, there's there. this lovely uh, uh, emphasis on natural beauty. And I think that's something that the southern suburbs obviously has heaps of, yeah. you know, nestled in the in the foot of Table Mountain with Kirstenbosch Gardens and these beautiful forests. Uh, it, I mean, it's got that amazing uh, natural feel about the area. We know that the area boasts, I think, some of the oldest, most wealthy properties out there. Bishop's Court, absolutely awe-inspiring. But there are some more, um, you know, sort of accessible points to, to break into the property market. What, what is the market like in, in the southern suburbs? Yeah, I mean, the property market is as you said, filled with these grand old homes with these beautiful big spreads. Uh, unusually for, for property market anywhere in the country, 77% uh, of the properties in southern suburbs are homes, freestanding houses. Wow. Now, usually you see it biased towards flats, apartments, townhouses. Yeah, complexes in Joburg. For yeah. sure. <laughs> There's just a density around that. But in southern suburbs, it's all these beautiful old homes, and uh, that's unusual. Uh, and as a result, the values of properties are quite high in southern suburbs. I mean, as you know, uh, you're looking at an average property going for about six million uh, in southern suburbs, which is high, high average. Um, that, that's amazing to me. I think um, it says a lot about the kind of culture that you're buying into when you move into an area. And what I love about neighborhoods is looking at the lifestyle. Who are you going to be living next door to? So I'm going to pose the same question I did to you last week. Who's my neighbor if I'm living in the southern suburbs? Ah, I think southern suburbs is all about family, right? It's, it's that uh, uh, you've got the varsity just around the corner, you've got uh, some excellent schools in the area, so it's, it's very much a family-orientated neighbourhood. Yeah. Yeah, we profiled uh, one such guy in, in southern suburbs. He's been living there for over 20 years with his family. Uh, his kids go to the schools just around the corner. Uh, and for him, it's about that lifestyle, you know, that kind of that farm sense that you get. Mm. Uh, you know, there's beautiful wine farms in Constantia and you go and walk the dogs. And, and I think that will be your typical neighbor, someone that wants to be in touch with nature, but uh, has a very kind of family oriented family mindset. And presumably a son that plays rugby, if you're going to be going sure, to one yeah. of those I schools. I mean, the sporting <laughs> facilities are fantastic, yeah. Uh, so one last tip to leave us with concerning the southern suburbs. Southern suburbs is definitely about family. It's about uh, a love for nature and a love for the environment. So if that's what turns you on, certainly southern suburbs is an option. But for more information, just check out our website. Check out this novel, Neighbourhoods. Yeah, I think it goes far beyond being novel. It's a vital resource. So thank you so much for the efforts you guys thank have you put Grant. in. Well, there you have it. Simon Bray giving his thoughts on neighbourhoods today. And visit the privateproperty.co's website to discover more about private property, some of the best deals out there, but also their new neighbourhood information. Choose the lifestyle that is the perfect fit for you.